So if you're concerned about crowd levels, it's not that bad here. It's a Friday night at Disney Spring. So right now I'm on my way to meet Lindsay at City Works. We're gonna give it a shot. Uh, new restaurant over by the NBA experience. And I went back to the Ellipsis Milk District. Uh, it was so good the other night that I decided to have another one. And then there's plenty of stuff up on the wall that I'm gonna give it a shot. I think, maybe, unless Lindsay tells me I'm not allowed. So you were looking at the filet mignon sliders from City Works. With the parsley fries. And then Lindsay has the breaded chicken sandwich with Carolina Yum. barbecue sauce. All right, let's see it. This is the best chicken sandwich ever. It's pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. What's your favorite part about it? The uh, breading is really light, so that's really good. Oh, that is nice, yeah. I can so see you it. Can really, it's really juicy chicken. And the sauce is really good. It's really mustardy and like tangy. Good. It's really good. Awesome. You're going to have another bite? We'll watch again. Oh yeah. That's a good bite. Mm -hmm. So, I'm having another ellipsis like I said I was. This is the second one. It's still as good as the first. So, very light, crisp, draft. IPA beer. It's delicious. When you get the chance, get the milk district. All right. Look at this little tiny pickle. I know, look at how cute Look at that pickle. Oh, man. I feel like it's when we used to play that play that drinking game and you had to remove the little man. Not so good. I didn't like it. It was very <laughs> sour. You gotta remove the little pickle. I, I had to try it, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look at, look at that onion there. Caramelized onion. Oh, got the yeah. horseradish sauce on the bottom. So I'm kind of going to compare these to Boathouse because Boathouse has my favorite filet mignon sliders. But Those are good. I'm going to see what this one tastes like. Really good. I would say that the filet mignon, at least for the first bite over at the boathouse, is a little bit more tender, but the flavor here is much more intense. The horseradish, they have the pepper on more top on of the it. steak, yeah. and the onion. So it's got more to it. It's a bigger slice of meat as well, which might be why it's not quite as tender as the boathouse filet, but I don't, I'm not going to dog it. It's delicious. So I, I'm giving the flight a try. There's a Hazy Luminescence, a McStagger from Crooked Can. I've had that one before, it's delicious. And then a Beach Hippie and Pulp Friction. So each one of those is an IPA, somewhere around 7% alcohol content. So it's a bigger pour than most that you should get somewhere else. All right, so apparently I was a dead giveaway for a Floridian now. Um, he said nobody that's not local orders McStagger, but that it's the best deal because you get a normal small pour of McStagger if you order by itself, and here you go, almost get the same size with the flight. So if you want to get McStagger, this is the way to do it. If you're a fan of Crooked Can. And where's Crooked Can? Crooked Can's in Winter Garden, Florida. Um, I strongly suggest you go to the brewery if you get a chance. It's a really cool setup. They have food and 
and all kinds of beer to have over there. Maybe we'll do a video there. Yeah, maybe we will next time. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Huh? We are we are child free this weekend. He's at Nana's house. There's no child. There. It's been a long week. What do I do with my hands? Okay. So I have the hazy. What's that called? Where to go? Oh, it's on this sheet. Luminescence Hazy IPA, sorry. Say that five times. Man. I almost said Hazy Fluorescence, which we might see tomorrow. We're thinking about going kayaking in Cocoa Beach. So, you can see the Bioluminescent Bay, which is gorgeous. Blue water, you can watch the fish swim through it. It's amazing. So, we're gonna give this one a shot right here. That is, that's really different for an IPA. The, the waiter said that it had like a really juicy flavor to it, and it's a really juicy IPA, not super bitter. I mean, it has some hops to it, but it, it tastes like I'm drinking like a tropical IPA. I strongly recommend it. I can't say it's my favorite IPA, but it's definitely good. Really good. I recommend getting it on a flight. McStagger, Hazy so far, those are two good choices. And then the Milk District was also another good choice. So I'd say those three get the flight if you come to City Works. All right, on to the Beach Hippie. A little bit darker in color, 7.2% alcohol, and made from the Persimmon. Hollow Brewing. I don't know where that is, but we'll look it up later. Way different. Way different than I just had the Luminescence Hazy, which was tropical flavor. This one's got more of a, a bitter taste to it. Well, kind of like piney type hints. So definitely different hops on this brew. Um, not that it's not good, just a lot more bitter than the mess. It's hazy, juicy, tropical IPA that I had. All right, Pulp Friction. I hear this one's really hoppy. Let me give it a shot. It's up there on the bitter and oh. It's got some citrus hops to it as well. It seems like a little sour. Uh, definitely a different taste. I've definitely ran the gamut of different types of IPA here uh, from the McStagger, which is a really smooth, strong IPA to uh, a juicy, hazy IPA, which is tropical. And then the, the Beach Hippie that was a little piney and then, oh, I'm having trouble here. There we go. And then this one has a little bit of sour and a lot more bitter bitterness to it. I think the IBUs were 77 for all the beer fans out there. If you can't tell, IPAs are my favorite type of beer, so. No. Yeah, a little bit. I like cider. I still have my same one. Yeah. The m and m store that's coming to Disney Springs. Doesn't look like it's supposed to be done. It's like Slipsville is now open. You can go and bowl in there. The bar out here is also open with some live music. So AMC Theaters is still closed. Disney just announced they are going to release Mulan on Disney Plus only, but you are going to have to pay an extra fee to see it. 
So, if you really like Mulan, I guess you'd pay the $30 fee, but I don't think I'm gonna pay it. I'll probably wait till it comes out for free. Here we are in Disney style. Some of the cutest stuff and newest Disney items can be found in the store. New fanny pack. Uh oh. You see it? Is it waterproof? Waterproof. Like you want? Yeah. yeah. Cute. Mickey shirt. Like the iridescent. For $34.99. These are cute shorts too. The balloons. Ice cream bars on that. Retro Disney. And they have spirit jerseys up here. And they also have puppy spirit jerseys so you can match. There's some of the lounge fly bags. I really love this new spirit jersey. The neon colors on it. Super cute. <laughs> I like this animal purse. Those are forty dollars. There's some of the uh, Disney masks. I have a big gallery wall here where you can take your picture in front of the castle. It's not the repainted castle. No, no. <laughs> See the background changes? Pretty cool. 90s Disney shirt. Hunchback and Notre Dame. They have the uh, VHSs here that are notebooks. Huey, Dewey, and Lee. That's super cute. Uh oh. Pocahontas shirt. The Tarzan shirt. Bugs Life shirt. The Ursula shirt. And Kiwi Dewey and Louie again with the purse next to it. Very cute. And I love this one. Copper and Todd, so cute. So there's some men's shirts here. That one has Hey Hey on it. And the great soda. This one has craft cans on it. Orange bird. Rainbow Mickey. And Pikmin. These shirts here, they're a little wrinkly, but I really like them. Cute lounge sled bag, I haven't seen that one before. I haven't seen that shirt before. Pub grass is my favorite color. Best day ever. They also have a wallet. And that lounge fly design, and then they have a mini backpack as well. Neon tie-dye Mickey stuff is pretty cute. It has a little dress. You can see it on the mannequin there. So it's one of the newer lounge flies, I think. Cute. Oh, sweat suit. Over here they have some Monsters Inc. stuff. Monsters University. Some Hercules stuff. You don't usually see them. Hercules stuff. I love this. Alex Panani. Bracelet. And then above it, 
quirky person. This is the cutest Lego I've ever seen. It's not that bad. As far as price goes. That's adorable. Isn't it so cute? Manchester United and then they have a Iron Man. And it could be yours for only $699.99. That's on my Christmas wish list this year. Anybody know what this set is? Pretty awesome. This guy looks a little short to be a stormtrooper. He really does. That's really awesome with the lightning in the background. Let me just tell you. The details are amazing. Yeah, it is. Carlo in here. like heaven in here. Don't you think this is what heaven smells like? I don't know. Too girly for you? A little bit. <laughs> My favorite thing to get here are the bath bombs. They're three for 14 or 449 each. So not crazy terrible for a big bath bomb. Or the biggest one. A three for fifteen or five for five. for these ones. They have, some of them have little Mickey's in them. Or the B for basin. There's the different Halloween soaps they have out already. Pumpkin spice la latte if you're basic. Ghoul friend. That was cute. Mickey. Remember me for Coco. Can you smell it? Autumn Mickey. 
a fall Mickey. It's the no drama llama. You gotta, you gotta turn around. Oh, try again. The no drama llama. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> llama. Oh, but it is the no drama llama. <laughs> Florida orange. Huh? Did you see the squat? Are you going to demonstrate the sugar scrub? Yes. Josh likes his hands to be all silky smooth every time he comes in here. Oh. We better cut in that mask. <laughs> Seconds, right? 20 seconds, then your ABCs. Twice? No, not ABCs. Happy birthday. Twice. It's a happy birthday. I thought it was ABCs. No, it's happy birthday. Bye. A safety person would know. I think either way. It does feel really nice. Here. Are they smoother than a baby's bottom? Yeah, I'm kind of. This one's sugar scrub. That one looks like it's whipped something out there. Oh. Or you can use the Mickey soap. I, I like the sugar scrub. My thing is, like, that soap's been touched by somebody else. Yeah, you gotta but use... But the soap get dirty. Yeah. Uh... I think that soap does. Yeah, it does. For sure. That's not very, not very COVID-19 friendly. Germs probably don't stay on it very long. Oh, they feel nice. It's like mm -hmm. I never worked a day in my life. Mm -hmm. Baby smooth. All right. Oh, look at these little bubbles. They look like bubbles, but they're not bubbles. Thick soap. Saki. Saki soap. Thick soap. There's the uh, line to get into World of Disney. Have you been here before? We're gonna skip it tonight. Yep. Especially if it's at capacity. It's never fun in there when there's a bunch of people in there. It's better to come on a day when there's not as many people. We are here inside the toy store. I always love the big walls of stuffed animals. When I was little. Kind of a good deal. Twenty two when we buy six. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. If I had a small child. Don't you though? Yeah, but he's almost out of the stuffed animal. Well, yeah, twenty two each for the. No, I think it's a select. Select one. Okay. So when I was little, my favorite place in the mall to go is the Disney store. And they always had a big pile of stuffed animals in the back that I would go and jump on. And that was my favorite thing. I don't, I don't know that they're... Yeah, let's say they're doing some sort of renovation. That store used to go back deeper. Oh. My Disney Railroad over there. <laughs> Chase loves all these sets. All the years. All the movies. No. Disney Railroad. Love it. I want to get one of these to go around my Christmas tree. Life goals. You toy? Porky is our favorite. There he is. I don't see any Porky toys. Is he over here? Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. <laughs> We were crying during the Toy Story 4 movie in the theater. Well, I was crying from sadness and laughter. And, yeah, it was both. But mostly from It was Porky. definitely a movie to watch in the theater. Was the, I yeah. loved it. It was way better than 2 and 3. Safe. 
Paddlefish, and then Saratoga Springs across the way, DVC Club. You got the Lava Lounge and the Rainforest Cafe. Lindsay got some cool shots of the fire coming out of that earlier. Lindsay wave high in the pan. There we go. In the background you got Goofy's Candy Company, some lightning. There's a storm blowing in right now. You, you probably can hear the wind. Ghirardelli. The stage. World of Disney. My favorite, the Lego store. And then Chase's favorite restaurant's coming up. T-Rex in the background. Just past the bridge. That was just a cool shot of Disney Springs. Well, we wanted to review our dinner tonight, and City Works was excellent. Um, I thought the filet mignon sliders were really good. The pretzel buns were really soft. Had caramelized onions. I think Lindsay really wanted to get the filet mignon sliders, and we were supposed to share, and then we we didn't share didn't because share. the filet mignon sliders are way better than the chicken sandwich. The chicken was good. I'm sure it was good, but it's not filet mignon sliders, right? Or as <sighs> So, what's better? One of my co-workers used to say, fill it mignon. He thought, is the boathouse better? Or the, the, the boathouse, the boathouse filet is much more tender. Um, I had to say, one of the bites I took out of the one from City Works, it took the whole steak. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, tear it in half with my teeth. So, that never happened at boathouse. It was always kind of melt in your mouth filet. So, I will say that they have an excellent selection of craft beers. A little pricey. Uh, our bill was around $85 with the flight. I suggest the flight over the, the single beer. Uh, the single beer was $12 by itself. The flight, they charge individually for each beer. Uh, they average about $6.50, but it's almost the same quantity. So, much more beer for the price. My cider was nine, which wasn't terrible for... For Disney Springs, right? You know coming here, you're going to spend more money on alcohol. No, no doubt about it. service was top-notch. Yeah. Our waiter knew more about beer than I've ever heard anybody know about. He knew every single tap, how it tasted, how the hops were, exactly what to tell a customer if they're considering buying beer. So if you don't know a lot about a beer, about beer and you want to try some out and learn more about it, it's a great place to go. So I'm pretty sure all their waiters are trained that way. Yeah, he, he definitely had a good personality. We gave him an extra tip. Uh, we always like to reward our servers if they give us good service and he was top notch for sure. Yeah. 
He was on the His ball. Name's Andrew. Andrew, yeah. If you ask, want to ask, ask for him. Andrew, yeah, absolutely. If, if you want to go there and sample some beers, ask for him because he's great. But overall, great atmosphere. The chairs were really comfortable. If you sit at one of the high tops, that was a plus. Yeah, the bar stools and the booths look really, really comfortable too. Yeah, normally on a bar stool, you know, your butt's starting to hurt by the end of the night, but I didn't feel like I needed to get up. I, I could have sat there and drank all night with the way the atmosphere was. So, go enjoy it, City Works. Well, anyway, that's the, that's the video for the night. We're gonna head home. I think that, you know, you saw the lightning. We got a cool couple minutes of lightning video to show you and uh, we're gonna drive home. We're tired, we're old. Not really old, but I feel it's old. time to go home. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. The Linton Life.